Today we're going to be doing a book review and giveaway of Oversaturated by Dr. Evan Allen. A lot of you guys out there in the vegan community may not know Evan Allen, but he's a vegan physician who was trained at Loma Linda and practicing in Nevada. Now, this guy is legit in my book, and I recommend this book, and that's why I'm sharing this review with you guys. One of the interesting things in this book that he talks about is the topic of ceramides. Now, ceramides are strongly associated with insulin resistance, and as I understand it, eating a diet high in saturated fat causes your body to produce more ceramides in multiple locations, your pancreas, your liver, your brain, and even though our body needs ceramides like it does need cholesterol, you don't want to have too much. Too much is a bad thing. It's also strongly associated with coronary heart disease and as I understand it, too much ceramides can screw up your adipose tissue, your body's fat cells ability to function. Very bad stuff. So definitely want to read the chapter on ceramides in this book because it's a topic that doesn't get enough play in the vegan community. If you're looking to pick up a copy of Oversaturated by Dr. Allen, then click on the link in the description. All right, another topic that is, I think, essential and foundational to this book right here is the topic of what happens when communities have lowered saturated fat in their diet. And this is a home run on this book right here where he nails it, and one of the reasons why I recommend this book. One of the examples he gives that's not getting enough play in the vegan community is Finland. You see, back in the 1970s, I think it started around 1972, Finland instituted an aggressive public information and education campaign to get people in their community, in their, in their country, to lower the saturated fat in their diet. Because, especially in a place called North Karelia, they had the highest rates of heart attack of anywhere in the country, and it may have been among the highest in the world if you go back to the Seven Countries study before that. So in the 70s, they instituted these big changes, sweeping policies and educational efforts to get people to stop using so much butter, among other lifestyle changes. And from the 70s up until about 2000, they were able to reduce the amount of heart attacks in North Karelia by, I think it was more than 70%. Now that may be relative risk, but still big changes in the amount of people dying of heart attacks simply by lowering the amount of saturated fat in their diet. Now, Evan Allen, this, this physician gives a number of other examples in this book of communities that were able to do that, whether by policy choice, choices and educational efforts or by necessity due to things like wartime. And I think some of y'all out there have heard some of these examples, but he lays it out. The references are in the back of the book. Great resource for you guys on that topic. And when it comes to talking to patients in a physician's clinic, a lot of times the discussions that they're going to have are going to be similar to the type of discussions that we as vegans have when you're out there talking to people about diet because people have questions and some of the things that are in this book you need to know. Like for instance, what are the top five sources of saturated fat in the diet of average Americans. If people don't know that, then how can they reduce it? So number one is cheese, okay? This is probably why Neil Bernard did an entire book about cheese because just cutting out cheese is a huge difference maker in people improving their health and lowering the saturated fat in their diet. I believe that and I think that studies will show that and have shown that in the past. All right, so the next highest source of saturated fat in the diet is pizza, because Americans eat so much pizza and pizza is loaded with cheese. There may be some meat on most pizzas, but it's that cheese and pizza is number two. And then I think number three is baked desserts. So that's where you're getting refined carbohydrates and tropical oils and butter. You know, that's the cookies, pies, cakes, all that stuff that we you know, know isn't good for us. And then I think number four on the list of highest saturated fat in the American diet is dairy desserts. So that would be like ice cream and frappuccinos, your Starbucks, 650 calorie loaded with sugar, 
dairy product frappuccino. You guys know what it is. You want to avoid that too. But then number five is chicken. Now, why is that, guys? It's because in the 20th century, the consumption of chicken has gone up something like 600%. So people, oftentimes, if you tell them to cut out saturated fat in their diet, they're going to say something like, look, I don't eat a lot of red meat. Well, the truth is that Americans have been eating less red meat, but they're eating a lot of cheese and a lot of chicken. And if you can have intelligent conversations with people, you know, maybe your family members don't want to go vegan right off the bat, but you want them to be healthy. How do you have that conversation? Maybe it starts with, hey, how much cheese are you eating? How much chicken are you eating? You think chicken's healthy, but it would be hard to make the argument that Americans have gotten healthier during the time span that they've started eating a ton more chicken. So, all right, guys, here's the deal. That's my basic book review. This has got some essential information in it that is very clear and easily delivered. Uh, I was able to read this on a treadmill over the course of several different workouts and really enjoyed it. So big thanks to Dr. Evan Allen. Now, I bought this copy of the book myself, and then I sent him a message and told him, hey, I'm going to read your book, probably drop an Amazon review on it, maybe do a video. And he was kind enough to send me a second copy that he signed. Okay, so I have two copies now. I got one that I paid for and the signed copy that I think I'm going to hang on to. But I'd like to give this copy to y'all, to one of y'all, and the way I'm going to do it is I'm going to use a random comment picker on this video. And that's going to select one of you guys who leaves a comment. And then I'm going to reach out to you and get you to probably send me a direct message on Twitter or send me an email. And we're going to go ahead and ma I'm going to mail this to you. I'm going to mail you a copy. You will be the winner. I'll announce it on a video probably next week or something, but give you guys plenty of time to get in here, watch this video, leave a comment. And one of you guys is going to win a copy of this book and I think you will enjoy it. Now that being said, if you've made it to the end of this video, then what I want you to do is click on the Amazon link in the description and pick up a copy of Oversaturated by Dr. Evan Allen right, right now. Y'all know what time it is. Red Pill Vegan. Next.